the lines I never asked for anything that wasn't mine being nice was my pastime but I've been hurt for the last time I never thought of myself as me I always thought that I'd be the queen and there's no in between cause if I can't have that then I would be the leader of the dark and the bad now there's a devil on my shoulder where the angels used to be And he's calling me the queen of me Calling me the queen of me Calling me, calling me All of my senses have left me defenseless The darkness around me is promising vengeance The price that I'm willing to pay is expensive There's nothing to lose when you're lonely and friendless So my only interest is showing this princess That I am the queen and my reign will be endless Yeah. <laughs> 
Troy Bolton and Gabriella met at a ski lodge party on New Year's Eve. He plays basketball, she does decathlon. But like, for science and math. Deep down they both want to sing out. They inadvertently try out for the school play. Miss Starbus offers a call back that really ticks off Sharpay. We'll come back to her later. Now everyone at school's inspired. To follow all their dreams Then Chad and Taylor Say no, no, no Stay in your lane, yeah Stick to the status quo Then they hatch a scheme To make Troy talk trash How did he not see that webcam? Gab gives up on the callback Subsequently, Troy's basketball game's all off. They make up, but Sharpay tells Miss Darvis <gasps> to schedule the callback at the same time as the basketball championship in Scholastic Decathlon. But through hacking the gym's power and some weird chemistry, they make the callback get cast as leads. Even though Sharpay arguably earned it more Wildcats win their game, then they sing and dance We're all in this together!
run down to zombie town and meet our hero Zed. He wants to play football and help the zombies get ahead. Then one day he meets Addison, she slaps him in the face. But soon they both discover they're crushing on each other. Zed proposes Addison, come party with his friends. Meets her snooty parents and plays human make pretend. But look out for Bucky, he's a bully with hot goss. Turns out there's he been hacking to up Zed's football tackling. Bucky goes too far, the zombie zombie out. The crowd freaks out, Buck's nearly chowed, Zed gets arrested. Addison reveals she's got secret white hair. The crowd freaks out, her parents pout, the zombie kids all feel sad. But then everybody unites. Yay! Through the power of friendship, they get along. Singing this song, no kiss, just hug. But now there's another movie. Hey, turns out Seabrook has werewolves they're looking for the moonstone or else they will die. Zed's hit by a school bus asking Addy to the prom. Then the werewolf's entrance leads to anti-monster laws. So Zed runs for president to try to make things better. But he zombies out again, so mean old Bucky gets the win. These werewolves think that Addison's the leader of their pack. She gets a couple hair braids, now she's got the werewolves back. They protest at the power plant to rescue the Moonstone. Their dance is super polished, but still the place demolished. The werewolves all get sick, the earth begins to crack. They find the stone, they get recharged, a boulder traps them. Addison tells Zed, you need to zombie out. He moves the rock, their lives are safe, they go to front, there's a kiss. But now there's another movie. Whoa, turns out Seabrook has aliens, they need a map to point them to. Utopia! Zed wants to get into college, then he'll be with Addison. But aliens wreak havoc, now the citizens are mad at them. A cheer off is approaching, so the aliens decide. We can't just tell them why we're here, so let's pretend we came to cheer. The aliens investigate the moonstone for a clue, no map. They beam up to their spaceship, Addison gets beamed up to, oh snap. It turns out that her grandma was an alien space scout. Wait, what? But Addison is sour. Cause she ain't got no power. Addison zaps it, he zombies out again. Turns out she is an alien, the map's inside her. They jumpstart the ship, get sad and say goodbye. Then change their mind, cause Seabrook was Utopia this whole time. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, Eliza's a robot. <laughs>